Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to try and do something a little bit different. Before we start, this is going to be a first solo video here on the channel. My name is Harish, and I am a part of the Nerdcast crew alongside my friends. So today, I wanted to go over the new Uncharted trailer. So some of you may know, Uncharted is not <laughs> just a movie that has been recently announced, but is a really, really big game franchise. I wanted to come into this as an Uncharted fan and really give my critique and try and be fair and honest as to how, what I think about this new Uncharted film, what I like about it, what I don't like. I want to try and come into this as fair as possible. There is two different sides to this project where people view this in a positive light, but I feel like there's also a lot of the negative sort of per reception from this new trailer and I have to, and I feel like that's understandable. Even myself included, I feel like I'm on, on the side of people that have a negative sort of reaction towards this as this is a beloved franchise and what they're kind of doing with it. You're kind of, you're just not doing it how it's meant to be. So let's get started. As some of you may know, there is an Uncharted movie that is slated to release next year on February 18th, starring Tom Holland as Nathan Drake and Mark Wahlberg as Victor Sullivan, or Sully for short. I'm a fan of the Uncharted games. I've played through the Nathan Drake collection and I've also played through Uncharted 4 at Thieves End. It was one of the video games that had opened my eyes on how video games were more than just shooting and climbing. Sure, this series has that, however, it was what these games were down to their core. An action adventure story with a likable cast all about finding lost treasure no one has ever known about for years. Along the way, there are grand action set pieces such as the iconic train sequence from Uncharted 2 and the plane sequence from Uncharted 3. So when I heard that Sony was developing an Uncharted movie starring Tom Holland as Nathan Drake and Mark Wahlberg as Sully, I just really wasn't pumped. Is Sony sure that there aren't any other actors around that could have played these roles? I understand Tom Holland being a younger Nathan Drake. He sort of fits that role. However, Mark Wahlberg as Sully just doesn't sit right with me. You, I don't think Mark Wahlberg even resembles Sully in the slightest, even young Sully for the matter of fact. One of the most important features of Sully is his signature mustache. Sure, it's not something I'm up in arms about or I'm not crying over. A character not having one of their sort of quintessential features almost kind of feels like an uncanny valley sort of situation. They just don't recognize the character, you just see the actor. I think overall, this is just miscasting period. When I think about a character like Victor Sullivan, he's kind of like like an elderly James Bond. Hear me out. He's old and sure he's got a lot of grey hair, but he has a sense of charm and class to his character, which makes him a lovable character. Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Nathan Drake on the other hand, he's an adventurer who's not just hooked on the thrill of adventure but the treasure he hopes to gain from it. Under that, he still remains a good person and has a youthful kind of humor to his character that makes you connect to him as you're controlling this character. If you're not connected to the characters, especially in a video game, what's the point of playing it? Uncharted is without a doubt one of the biggest beloved video game franchises in the past decade. So when a film adaptation of a beloved franchise is being made, that is when things are just not going to go well. Vid video game movies are known for poorly adapting these IPs. Like Mortal Kombat 2020, it's just overall an underwhelming experience. With only a strong beginning and two of their biggest characters being Scorpion and Sub-Zero holding the movie together. Before I try and go in on the Uncharted trailer and just go in with a negative attitude, I want to at least try and give a balanced point of view and weigh out the pros and cons. So I want to start off with the positives. The budget. This movie is said to have a budget of 120 million and it seems to be put to good use and doesn't look cheap. It looks like a classic and modern day action adventure movie like Indiana Jones and Mission Impossible. The references to the video games. Acknowledging elements from the previous games such as a reference to Nathan Drake's brother being Sam Drake from Uncharted 4 and the action they're replicating in this trailer being straight out of Uncharted 3's cargo ship sequence. Now, this is why I'm worried. The director, Ruben Fleischer, he did the first Venom movie and that somehow turned into a success because the sequel for it is still out in cinemas as we speak. The first Venom movie, despite its negative reception by many others, was still able to generate enough money to go ahead with the sequel. I feel like a similar situation can occur with this movie where although fans of the series do not like the direction Sony is taking with this, this movie could still somehow be a success and generate enough money to where they could start a franchise out of this, which is worrying to me as an Uncharted fan. The characters slash the casting. 
I personally don't like the casting. The casting seems to be a huge problem here. I just don't get amped and stoked when I see Mark Wahlberg as Sully and Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. Although I have to give credit where it's due, when Sony first released the first look of Tom Holland as Nathan Drake, the ring necklace, the holsters, his whole attire are almost if not pretty damn spot on to Nathan Drake's Uncharted 3 look. But I'm honestly not entirely sold by what's been shown in the trailer. I'll be completely honest, I only laughed at one joke when Nate and Sully were at the bar. That really felt funny and genuine, but the other moments of humor almost feel hammered in. I also feel like Tom Holland is trying to imitate an adult Nathan Drake even though this is a younger Nathan Drake. And Mark Wahlberg just seems to be acting like Mark Wahlberg. I don't see the charisma or class of the Sully character that he's known for. My last reason for why I'm worried is because this is a prequel. I don't mind a prequel to a well-beloved series. It explores stories we've never seen with new or already established characters. In the Uncharted games, the flashbacks to younger Nate and Sully didn't overstay their welcome and they served their purpose as a nice form of exposition to show the player how these characters became who they are. In addition, it displayed Nate and Sully's relationship to the viewer in a way that was organic that you as the player love as you've had a connection with these characters throughout the series. With this movie being a prequel, it's going to have to make an all new story that is original but still be able to retain a sense of familiarity to the video game. Furthermore, a prequel explores something new with certain characters that we haven't seen before. And maybe this new movie may give us a different light to Nathan Drake and Sully that we haven't seen in the video games. Whether that's for better or for worse, it remains to be seen when the film comes out. Lastly, I think making a prequel for something like Uncharted would be a bit difficult because the games already put you in as adult Nathan Drake who's already into his adventuring career. There's a handful of flashbacks to go off of or build upon that you can make a story out of. If they're able to achieve that, that'll be great. But I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge trying to achieve a movie when the only sort of material you have are like very few flashbacks from the character's past in the video games. Overall, I think the Uncharted movie, although I can see why there might be some positive reception where people still feel like, hey, Tom Holland looks good as Nathan Drake. This movie doesn't look bad. I think this Uncharted movie just feels like a typical action movie. You could pretty much associate it with almost every other action adventure movie like National Treasure or like a modern day sort of Indiana Jones And I also don't like the fact that this movie seems to be a hodgepodge of Uncharted 3 and 4 Since they explicitly show you the elements in the trailer they're borrowing from However, if you guys want to see a good Uncharted movie There is an Uncharted fan film starring Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake and Stephen Lang as Sully I think this fan film gets it and is able to be an Uncharted movie while being something different and standalone I like this fan film, although I think Nathan Fillion's a bit old for Nathan Drake. If I were to cast Nate and Sully, who would I personally pick? Well, for the world of Nathan Drake, I want someone who has a, a youthful yet experienced look and feel when you see this actor play the role. He should be witty, charming, be fit, and be able to do the kinds of stunts that Nathan Drake can pull off in the Uncharted games. I would personally cast Chris Pine. The more I think about him, the more I see him as Nathan Drake. I feel like he ticks every box of what the character needs to be. A leading man, but still have a charismatic nature to him. So as I am editing this video and I'm just doing like my research and all, I found out that when Nolan North was asked the question on who he would personally pick to play Nathan Drake, he said that he had like a minor role in Star Trek Into Darkness, but that got cut out. But he said that he did get to see Chris Pine's work and a quote, he says, I got to watch Chris Pine work and I sat with him at lunch. One time in the makeup trailer, I said, if a script called Uncharted ever comes across your agent's desk, you should take a good hard look at it because I think you'd be perfect for him. Nolan North says he doesn't want, doesn't believe it's smart for the Uncharted movie to be a one-to-one -one adaptation of any of the games, which it won't be, but if it were to be, Pine has all the qualities that make him good for Nathan Drake, he said. Uncharted is a movie already, and you're a and you're the star of the game. You're the star of, the, of that movie. You're Nathan Drake, not me. It's my voice, it's my movements, but you're Nathan Drake. You make the decision to jump, run, and or fall off a cliff. If they're doing a one-to-one, -one, adaptation. Chris Pine is, I think he's got that everyman quality. Charm, humor, and I really liked working with him. He's a good, solid actor and a good guy. That would be my top choice. Lastly, Victor Sullivan. I want an actor around the mid-50s to early 60s range, just like Sully in the video games. He needs that old look, a nice thick mustache, and a nice Cuban cigar to put it all in place. This actor's presence must be able to give off a sense of class like the Sully character, in a suave sort of nature. I would personally cast 
cast Pierce Brosnan as Victor Sullivan. He's played James Bond so the man already takes the boxes of what Sullivan needs to be. And I think these actors and their chemistry and their personalities as these characters would totally make the Nathan Drake and Sully dynamic more believable and more organic. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos as always. If you would like more solo videos by myself or many of the other of the Nerdcast crew just type in solo videos or something I don't know but I would like to try and do more solo videos and in, in the near future as well besides you know just covering all that nerdy sort of news trailers and all that and sound off in the comments do you guys like my casting for Nathan Drake and Sully do you guys have your castings what do you think about this Uncharted movie whether it be good or bad just you could just type in the comments if you want to please like and subscribe and if there's a bell icon please hit that as it immediately notifies you of when our videos go up on your subscriptions share this video with friends as this can help boost the growth of our channel and as always take care and see you on the next one